good morning there. So it's the time again to take James back to the eye doctor and see how things are coming along. And I just want to pray this morning and I want to say, dear Lord Jesus, as I wake up this morning, Thursday, it's a new Thursday. I thank you for another day filled with opportunities and blessings. And there's so many opportunities out there for us and I'm going to go find some of them. Grant me clarity and wisdom as I face what I have to do. May you guide me and direct me in my path. And Lord, direct my children in their path that they need to go. So help me be kind, patient, and thoughtful of others, those around me. And let this day be filled with positive thoughts, purpose, and your divine grace that comes only from you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I kind of had a guideline here, which is good because it directs my thoughts to where I really want to put them. And I really want to pray for y'all and I pray for myself and I pray for James that today that his eyes will be much better. He hasn't been to the eye doctor now for two months. He skipped a month. So we'll just see what the Lord do, has done and I'll report back. I'll take pictures. I'm going with him. I want to be there and talk to the doctor. So I'm treating my feet this morning. That's what I'm doing now. I have this rebuilder thing and it's marvelous the way it keeps my neuropathy under control. You just hook it up. It's run by a nine volt battery and it's called the rebuilder and it works. I can keep dancing and running wherever I need to run. Thank you, Jesus. Of course, I do take my turmeric. And you know, I found out another thing, and you can research this if you want to. Some people cannot take turmeric, but they can take nutmeg. And nutmeg, it's a spice, does the same thing for fighting inflammation. Now you research that. You can buy nut nutmeg tablets with vitamin D and stuff right off of Amazon. And I was telling my daughter Karen, one of the twins who is having knee surgery, August 14th, on one knee because her knee is bone on, well, there's Bella. I didn't even realize she got here and I'm petting her like that. But anyhow, I was telling my girls about it, the three, you know, Karen, Kathy, and Kimberly, because Karen cannot take turmeric. So I said, well, what about nutmeg? Because I've been taking nutmeg in a little bit, like a third of a glass of milk, out the spice myself and I put it in the milk before I go to bed and I have been sleeping so good. I just didn't realize how good nutmeg is for the body and how it gets rid of inflammation, just like turmeric. So I told Karen and I looked up one for her to, uh, on Amazon and I took a picture of it for her to buy. And uh, let's see if it's still here. Here it is. It's called Osteobioflex. Can you see that? You can look that up on Amazon. And it's got it's got uh, vitamin D in it and other things that are helpful. And it, the price is not that bad. That's a two-month supply. And really, I used to take use Osteobioflex uh, for arthritis. They sold glucosamine and chondroitin for that. But I found out it came out with turmeric. So I started taking turmeric and I didn't buy the glucosamine contortin anymore. Didn't need it. Doing good. I'm 90 years old and I can get up and down. And I was thinking this morning, September 19th, you will be 91 years old, girl. I still call myself girl. <laughs> and I try to keep a positive, good outlook. And I like this. This is one of them I got for 50 cents. And it is so pretty. I just like to drape them. And, and look at them. Grandma is a little vain. I'm not overly vain, but this morning I was down at the Y, and we've got this friend, David, who, he's a grandpa, and he just, he's a smart aleck. That's all there is to it. And sometimes I can 
top him because I had seven brothers and you gotta be good, you gotta be quick. So anyhow, I, I pulled my picture up this morning and showed it to David. I call him David now instead of Grandpa. He is a, he's a, he's a nice man. But I said, look at there, Lois Beard Rice, sixty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty nine subscribers and uh he says well here let me see that so i let him see and he said what is that i said well that's a picture of a spry little old grandma which is me <laughs> i am spry and i can get around and i am blessed and i thank the good lord for my blessings now how should i wear this i know y'all want to watch me tie my oh that looks cute too like i said I do the best I can with what I got. So, I wear wigs. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I like earrings. I like scarves. I like pretty shirts. And I'm going to go those shorts, pants that I'm, you know, to wear in the hot weather for James. They didn't fit. Well, you can take them back as long as you've got your receipt. I just let him try them on. And he was a 40. So, I got to buy a bigger size. He's not a 38. It said 38 on the shorts, but didn't work. So I'm on my way, and I'm going to do that this morning before we go to the doctor's at 1.30. So I'll talk to you later. Now walk that walk where Jesus would be pleased with you. And where is my glasses? You know how I like to put on a pair of glasses. Look, I got a, I got a whole box. Can you see this? <laughs> I have fun. Which ones? Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. Let's just do these. They will go with my black uh, and red uh, shirt that I have on this morning. Whoops. Anyhow, here I go. Ready or not. Now, can you see how that goes with this shirt? We got to coordinate when you're 90 years old. We work at it. And we have fun. So walk that walk, children. Grandma, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going out there and see what I can find. Maybe I'll run into some interesting people. Who knows? The Lord directs our steps. He goes before us and makes the crooked places straight. Bible says so. And a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. I love that scripture. Bye-bye. Doing it now. Talk to you later.